Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. And this is the color I am about to send you. And uh, I get uh, two of them. And uh, you can see I am using exactly the same. Let's first take a look. So here is a brush and um, it's for student use. So the brush is relatively hard and uh, it's better if you, you do want to make it uh, much more serious and uh, <clears throat> to, to make yourself more enjoyable, you can get some uh, uh, fancy brush, a softer brush, or this or that kind of brush. Let me show you. Okay, the brush difference. So this brush, I have some in the classroom. So now I, I used to have some in the classroom that the student can easily get access. Now I <clears throat> put it away. I will, um, I will show you in macro lens. You can see the brush difference. And here is another brush. This is a soft and this is hard. But um, we will multitasking a little bit to get your color more intense, more um, more intense and more more colorful. Let's say to dilute the color a little bit. So I use an eyedropper and put uh, a couple of drop of water so the color will be diluted when you need it very strong color when you need very strong color you can apply this strong color and when you need uh, not so strong color you can apply this and blend in the <clears throat> in the water palette in in the in the palette here so it's a very um, very functional and useful thing. So you can see this brush is relatively hard. It is usable, it's, it is perfectly good. But um, if you want to be softer, I will show you in my, in my video, um, in my using of, uh, of this paint brush. Okay, put it aside. Now I get my macro lens. So well, here is my macro lens. I will not walk on this. Uh, oh, I did. <laughs> Quite proud of my uh, my previous just uh, color background. Background. Oh, that's a new word. Background. Background. I will repeat the word. Background. 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 Okay, this is my little, ooh, my little, <laughs> you see it. Oh, we can look at it also. My student give it as a gift. She attended uh, um, um, a jewelry class and uh, they made something. It's a pair of sisters, twin sisters. One is this, another one is another color, so it goes with different color. Okay, here is my macro lens. Mm -hmm. I do not edit it because it's fun to see. Good. reflection okay it's moving too much I will lower down this or put something on top okay now we can take a closer look oh that is uh, glass beans are we in the right zoom Ooh. oh there is some air bubble okay now we will not get ourselves distracted too much so here are the two brushes and this is the hard brush 
and you can see it is really hard. It may be made of a pig or horse, the very, very strong manes. And it's, or it may be nylon, I do not know. It looks a little bit like nylon. Okay, we zoom in. You can see, oh yeah, this is made of nylon. And each brush, the tip is uh, is hard, is rigid. Oh, look, look at my skin, gosh. I'm so ashamed of myself. And it's very rigid, right? And this one is, okay, take a close take a look here and this one is um, <clears throat> gold hair and uh, gold hair in the softer part for example under the armpit arm <laughs> the gold armpit <laughs> under the arm near the belly or this area so it's relatively oh look at uh, I have never seen it so close up so this is gold here. It's much softer. Under the macro lens, it does not feel so soft, but it's much softer. Okay, here is another gold hair. Mm -mm. Okay, when I touch it, it feels soft. And we zoom in. So this is another gold here. So there are places fluffy, there are places a little bit hard. And that dark black is dyed by the ink. Some friends ask, how can I wash my, um, my, uh, my brush? Chinese painting brush, you, or any painting brush, yeah. Any painting brush, you want to take care of the brush and you do not want to wash it too hard. So, oh, look at the dark. So sometimes the brush get dyed, dyed into black color or a certain color. Here is another brush that has been dyed into this pink color. See, this, is, this used to be... Um, a gold hair brush and uh, I did uh, silk painting and it's relatively hard to wash away the color. Mm. So that is it. This, these are the softer brush. Here is an industrial nylon brush. Uh -oh, I cannot find cannot find the, the lens. This is an industrial nylon brush. It could, you can make it very thin, but still they are strong. They are more rigid. You want to have a natural animal hair, as long as you are not a vegan or vegetarian. I got some friends and they are vegan or vegetarian. They will never use animal brush. So they look for the extremely soft nylon brush. Okay. So that's about it. Okay, take out the, the macro lens. Oh, yeah. Before we go, take a look at the brush. We are going to use a used one, a new one. This one is a new one. Let me zoom in. So the, the hair tip could be very thin, very very uh, thin, very refined, but the brush itself is, uh, the fiber itself is relatively rigid. You can hear, Ooh, you can see when I push it, it does not move that much. Okay, okay, let's go back to our painting. Okay, so today we are going to paint something just uh, therapeutical and not so, uh, oh gosh, look at the color, not so serious about uh, 
about the final result and it's mostly background color you can put water first one of the method i use a relatively soft brush Ooh, there is a piece of hair here wet it a little bit not to be too serious completely soak into the water uh, you can do that or not to do that. Ooh, look at it. So the color. Ooh, I love it. And randomly put here and there. If there are some places still is wet, uh, is uh, white, nothing wrong with it. Right? Look at it. So pretty. And you do the color slowly, getting darker and uh, even darker here and there. Some purple here and there. Okay, so now I will do the cloud. The cloud, I can use... Uh, did you see here we have some white? Use this space as of white as a background to start from here. You do not need to get rid of the color from the very dark place. Right? Here and there. And it looks like cloud. Don't you think so? If you have better aesthetic, it's another story, but I feel it's okay, right? And you want to, I want to make it a little bit more colorful. Why not? Here and there, and that's it. Okay, we will not mess it too much. So this is a cloud. And see how the color move around and, um, and have fun, right? Okay, now we will use the other brush to have fun. And uh, if you have a lot of water, and which my students does a lot, they like to and see the, 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 the water move around. And uh, art is about um, having fun and mess around and see what will happen if you do the wrong thing or if you do the bad thing, if you are the bad boy, bad girl, and try to mess around with the teacher. If you have the open heart and allow student to, to try to screw the things, <laughs> to try to mess around with you if you have the capacity and if you have the confidence that it's okay to to make it wrong you have the opportunity to find something unbelievable unpredictable make any sense so so students in my class this is the point of making having art class because uh, kids can can play around, can have fun, and can try to screw the system and try to, to, to break up the system. Okay, so here we will use this brush and see what difference it produces. So as long as you are soft in your hand, it... Do not... No, that is not good. Just lightly do it. We have time, okay? We are rich. We are living the most luxury life at this moment. That is life. That is uh, relaxation. That is uh, not in a rush. Okay, the other part I'm thinking, making a little, a little bit strong, so I will directly go with the color. So this time, ooh, look at it.
So if you can see the color, I just go jing 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 jing, and uh, follow the 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 the, the, the color grading. Look at this thing. Okay, I did not see the magic of these two quads. Okay, that's about it. We will add some more color here. And some more water here and there. Let's see how it will turn out. Oh, I like this part. what will happen. It's your painting, you have uh, the freedom to mess around. Uh -oh, you do not see the whole picture, I am sorry. I am eternally sorry for what I have done. Okay, so just let's see what will happen because by trying to do something wrong, you are creating the opportunity of, uh, of having something unexpected to happen. So I will stop here and uh, see what, uh, uh, and let it dry and see what we can do with it. Here, I have some questions for you. This is one piece. That piece is almost dry. Let's take a look at this piece. So this is the sky. Supposed to be the sky. And uh, the white is a little bit too white, right? The edge is... Uh... And then you can write something. Thank you, note, happy birthday, get well soon, and uh, be free, and uh, see what will happen. Do some punch lines, pum, pum, pum. Okay, that is one message. And here I have some of these uh, already pre-colored. So there are times you just play around, put color in, and uh, ding, 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 put some, uh, put water in and put some color. And then I got lost of track what uh, I shall do with it. I always do palm tree. and still a palm tree. It's a little bit... Uh, palm tree is overrated, so I want to do something else. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. It's a good place to stop. Look at the color. Mm. Will be interesting.